though I have a language barrier, uh, it was very easy to communicate with them and uh, to get them to do what they want to do and they were very excited because they got to make something of their own. Yeah, so. Overall, it's a very good learning experience for all of us, especially uh, given that we are a trainee in art therapy. So we are art therapy trainees and I think this really just exposed us to the possibilities of using art as a mechanism for healing. I think if you can bring laughter and the joy, and I think that's the reason why I do it and keep doing what I'm doing. I will encourage you all to do the same, whether it's in a Jurong Community Hospital and uh, Ng Fong Hospital, with the, all the works that's done by Sean in the Hospital Exchange. I encourage you to continue to do that. Okay. Thank you so God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. decided to do something a little bit more meaningful and bringing arts into the medical environment or the hospital environment. The Singapore International Foundation, or we call it SIF in short, uh, together with our partner DMR Productions, is pleased to be part of this uh, annual festival which encourages artistic and cultural exchange between our countries. We strongly believe that the power of arts and culture can be harnessed to drive sustainable development and enable positive social change. The lasting image that um, I had towards the end of the session was that um, all of us are a river coursing towards the ocean and that we are not just a drop, but all of us are the ocean within. So it was a really beautiful experience. It was a real pleasure and honour being a part of this event this weekend, especially to showcase the creative and expressive arts therapies. Um, my expertise is in art therapy and it was a pleasure to see some of my students in the audience. Thanks to CEX, uh, we had a chance to both hear from both sides of the causeway and I think that's really good to know we are not alone. This growing field of healing through arts uh, could be something that, you know, what we can't do by ourselves, we can do with our neighbours. It is a really very heartwarming you know, thing to be able to perform for them, for them to just roam around and enjoy that space that we have uh, prepared for them. A big thank you to Cosmic Exchange for giving us this platform to give back to the community. I really enjoys the sensory part, also a safe environment for the kids. Usually my kids would be quite shy, they'll stick with me, but then today they were so happy to just explore. The first thing people always come to us, uh, or producers, is like, okay, how do you, how do you find the venue? Part of um, the budget that you produce is going to come from the sales, and you, know, you, have to, you have to be very realistic with how you budget your production.
we're very interested to see how Malaysian and Singaporean producers could come together to have a conversation and map out possibilities about future collaborations and how we can work better with each other and supporting each other in the future. Sure. So it was a really eye-opening discussion and mm. panel and sharing session that helps producers here in Singapore to prepare better for taking our work, our groups and our art across to Malaysia. Coming even more questions, yes, contemplating, tapi sekarang less not knowing and more of going and asking. Night after night of alcohol swabs and needle piercing skin, needle piercing skin, needle piercing skin, you are picking at the scabs, unraveling the threads. To baseless accusations of Yusa and Haram and Shirik and Zina with our dunya left in shambles, our eyes fixed skyward so steadfastly we let the sun burn out our common sense. I mean, I try my best to do the best with the cars that I've been dealt. I wrote this song for the fame and the girls and the wealth. <laughs> no, I wrote this song just so I can introduce myself, huh? Thank you. When will the light be there for us? We forget it's the moon that gets us through the night, cleaves the darkness and keeps it at bay. And it's so amazing hearing everyone's, what everybody feels and what comes from everybody's hearts. I think that's the best part about poetry and the best part about the slam. Share and compare, not only the styles but the context, the content of what we speak, the language. So it's interesting, that's the part that's most interesting for me. And the winner of the group category is Team Singapore! I think the idea is to start the conversation. How same, how similar we are, how different we are. I think this afternoon we will have quite an illuminating time listening into their conversations. To be able to experience like what's the wildest imagination can go. I don't believe in inspiration, but I do believe in observation. I think if you train yourself to look at the world as it is, rather than trying to find something that clicks into place in some kind of ideal manner. But you didn't do it, right? You didn't turn it into a song or a film or a poem or whatever. Which means, yeah, the idea came and you know, tapped you but you didn't lie in. So it got bright out and find like the old you. To people saying, no, this is actually, language is about identity. Um, and like language is about who we are, and, and we're not going to be, um, we're not going to fake it. We're not going to be so contrived as to, to pretend that um, you know the Queen's English applies to every situation because it doesn't. Yeah. These are my streets. This is my town. Even though I am a darker shade of brown. Her work speaks to us, speaks to our soul. Um, it really resonates with a lot of things that we have in mind, but we don't have the words to articulate it. I got the book and I'm very happy to be here to, to see this. And thank you for sharing the love for your sister. I continue to uh, make that uh, uh, journey of uh, learning through her films. Thank you. We hope to be able to spread love and hope. So thank you again for this opportunity and uh, for keeping Yasmin's legacy alive. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the ninth edition of Causeway Exchange and it's the second edition of the Malaysian Film Festival in Singapore. Uh, I'm really honoured to have a great panel 
uh, from Singapore and Malaysia this year. For me, and like many Malay boys, the exposure to the filmmaking industry comes from the whole Pirandi movie, Cinema Jalapo. So, but the gut always is always moved by the passion coming from the person pitching. It's a definitely much better and much more positive and promising landscape than it was around 45 years ago. When they actually go out of the cinema, I think they should take back something. I think we are quite used to film as entertainment, but I think film can be more than that. So. What do you think? Like for example, how to kind of navigate or we really have to make friends with them? Yeah. Yeah. So for your students actually, if they have a solid idea, they can pitch to anybody, any producer out there. They will listen. Can the success of one film contribute to the growth of the industry here? If my colleagues' films make money, I'm really, really happy because there's a push towards profitability, the push towards acceptance. I think it's a good opportunity to do that and also uh, many many young filmmakers and people who are interested in film can uh, get to learn and get to know things better. Now in its ninth year, Causeway Exchange has stayed true to its focus of bringing together arts and cultural exchange between Malaysia and Singapore. It has presented close to three 156 artists Art has power, but it must be experienced. On that note, I would like to call on the Malaysian Singaporean communities to come forward and support this noble endeavor. Let us keep our relationship continuously moving forward and blooming. Thank you and have a pleasant evening. Anak Anak Malaysia is an initiative that's aimed to unite Malaysians from all walks of life so they can share their spirit of Malaysiana together. Very much like the Malaysian Film Festival, which really tries to draw Malaysians in Singapore together and share that spirit with their border cousins through the media of film. The a better world begins with better understanding. And so cross-cultural interactions such as these provide insights that deepen mutual respect between our people. We are so little exposed to each other's uh, cultural works particularly. So um, anything that can help foster better understanding between the two countries is to, in my opinion, a, a, a very, very good thing. But, but I think every person in this room right, is, has something to do with Causeway Exchange in some way or other. So thank you all for uh, supporting my vision.